Shifting our focus now, U.S. President Joe Biden has announced that he is rising the number of refugees allowed in the country. The cap has been increased from 15,000, that is the Trump era limit, to 62,500. Biden had initially decided to keep the cap at 15,000, a limit that was decided by his predecessor and a man known for dealing with the migrants with an iron fist, that is Donald Trump. The latest discussion comes after Biden faced heavy criticism from his allies. He also faced heat from a top Democrat and refugee aid groups in the United States. They called the target as appallingly low and deeply disappointing. White House has now clarified that the decision was only provisional. It said that the new government needed more time to rebuild the post-Trump refugee program. In the latest statement, Biden said, I'm quoting at this point, this erases the historically low number set by the previous administration of 15,000, which did not reflect America's values as a nation that welcomes and supports refugees. The new admissions cap will also reinforce efforts that are already underway to expand the United States' capacity to admit refugees so that we can reach the goal of 125,000 refugee admissions that I intend to set for the coming fiscal year. Now, during his presidency, Donald Trump clamped down on refugees. That is no secret. It was a part of his hardline border politics. During the presidential campaign, Biden promised a humane approach while dealing with the migrant crisis. However, his own administration backtracked after it ran into difficulties of facing a constant surge in the number of migrants trying to enter the U.S. illegally. Now, once again, uh, going back to our Vion correspondent, Rachel Silverman from San Francisco. Rachel, thank you so much for staying with us. Now, the influx of migrants has proved to be a challenge under the Biden administration, so much so that the number of migrants allowed was once again scaled down to the Trump era limits. How do you assess that? You know, 62,500 is far above the 15,000 limit set by the Trump administration, but it is... Uh, half as much as the 125,000 uh, campaign promise that Joe Biden made. Uh, as you mentioned, Biden said the earlier cap just did not reflect America's values and the United States, he says, has a commitment to protect the most vulnerable. Um, initially, uh, last month, um, Biden said that um, his administration would keep former President Trump's low ceiling, but it was the Democrats criticism which um which which brought biden to uh, do this about face even with the cap of fifteen thousand place in in place so far though only about two thousand refugees have been in have been let in by the end of march and so biden himself has acknowledged that by the end of this year it's unlikely that uh we'll be able to make that uh goal of sixty two thousand five hundred um but he says the work is underway to to revamp and to to get to to recover from uh, the policies of the Trump administration. Meanwhile, four migrant parents who were separated from their children at the U.S. border by the Trump administration and sent home alone, they will be re allowed to reunite with their children um, in the United States this week. That's part of a process of reunions expected to stretch on for months and possibly years as separated parents are ferried back to the United States from around the world. So this um, immigration policy is still, um, still a, a, a real point of contention here in the United States. Absolutely, Rachel. Do you think that in an effort to reverse some of Trump's policies, this was maybe a rushed plan? Because we know that the earlier plan did not work out. So how effective do you think this strategy would be? Or do you think they really need to take some time and think this through? How do you assess that? Well, certainly they've had some time to think it through, but there's really no explanation, um, satisfying explanation about why this number of 15,000 was was put forth um, just a couple of weeks ago. Um, it, it's a work in progress. Um, it's a complicated situation, certainly, and it's a situation that's in flux where um, uh, 
the, um, the deluge of people has been predicted, but still um, there's been uh, changes in order with um, more border patrol, more um, help at the border, more facilities for people. And, um, uh, and I think this is something that is going to uh, take us some months to, to figure out. All right, absolutely. Thank you so much, Rachel, for joining us with all those inputs. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.